My name is Esther Kazungu and I am a content creator and digital activist. I, I help brands um, advertise and, and increase their visibility, especially small businesses. And uh, when it comes to digital activism, I advocate for social justice and civic education using my social media platforms, which is Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram mostly. So I recreate videos, apart from digital activism and content creation, I actually recreate parliament videos, especially from South Africa, but I also do Kenyan uh, parliament videos. And so there's this one time I was recreating a video and after pre recreated and posted and everything is when the fact actually came out that it was actually a doctored, um, it was a doctored video, but I, I well I I still would have done it because the doctored video sounded more interesting than the than the original but it came with I saw a lot of comments of people who felt like I did that on purpose and I just I was I I, I had to ignore because I couldn't respond to all those comments there's actually another time also that I did a video uh, about Somali okay Somaliland I hope they don't get to see this because it will be a whole other debate. Um, but, and that was also uh, received with so much uh, backlash because this, the debate is still going on whether Somaliland is actually a country. And um, that was another defining moment for me where I had to look at that and realize that not everyone will understand what you're doing online. And I don't have to take anything personally. like I've developed such a tough skin in if you ask me this question or if that happened like three years ago or two years ago I will not have reacted the way I did because I was just chill about it of course I see because I see people um, uh, totally change the conversation and shift the conversation to something that's not even about the video you know coming for your personal looks and stuff like that or things like that, but I, I knew before I got into this space and before, thank God, before it blew up, I had seen this happen to other people such that the time it happened to me, I didn't take it to heart. Like I was just chill about it. I was, I feel like I was, I've, I've been covered for so long and I learned a lot while I was covered. And now that I am sort of blowing up, I have so many skills that it's, it's going to be very tough for anyone online to come at me and, and for it to affect me to a point of me going into a cocoon or something. The way I used to do, because I'd say before I just record and post anything, but right now I have to overthink <laughs> overthinking is not a good thing but uh, it, it i feel like it 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 works for me right now because i look at all possible outcomes of posting a particular content and uh, i i also do dance videos by the way and so once in a while i'd i'd look at myself and like oh i don't like that angle oh i don't like how maybe my tummy looks this way but i <laughs> It's, I think it's a split second and then I, I tell myself, if anyone comments, you already saw it first and let's just move on about it. There's a time I actually uploaded a video where I had a, world, a wardrobe malfunction and I thought about it and I was like, someone is going to point this out. And then I still posted it and then it affected me afterwards for some reason. Yet I told myself I had to mute that whole conversation because people are focusing on that one thing that... I did not want them to focus on and I was not going to re-record the dance video because I didn't have a lot of time to create content then. So th th I think that's just one time 
otherwise for now i overthink before putting out content and it's it's usual especially for for ladies to to have to look at everything i don't think guys have this problem of oh what is wrong in this picture or piece of content that i'm trying to to put out yeah so and then it mostly has to do with like physical image unfortunately i don't know why but yeah feel like for women it's not just about what you're saying it's about everything else is your hair fine your nails are they do you have all your nails or one is broken are you slim are you slim thick are you fair uh, fair skinned and all that like it's a lot of things and i don't think um it's women can just post whatever they want or post talk about they have to make sure so many other things are in check within the video or photo or whatever it is they are posting before they can post and so of course there is need for us to create safe spaces for women to to be able to actually post and you know be in these online spaces and do whatever they want on these online spaces as long as of course it's not affecting anyone else in a negative way